This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome back to a new YouTube video for this week. Today, I wanna to talk a little bit about what it's like when you don't have work or jobs incoming. You know, for, for me as a freelancer, like I think work is very sporadic. And this time of year, it's usually pretty slow. I haven't really had like a big uh, paying job in several months now, uh, which honestly is pretty normal. Like it happens all the time. Uh, I'm pretty used to it over the years now, but this kind of brought up the whole idea of, you know, what do I do when work is slow? You know, what, what do I work on? What do I do to stay busy? And honestly, the first thing that I think it's important to remember is you don't have to be busy. <laughs> I think the uh, internet makes everyone feel like they got to rush and be busy all the time and be doing stuff constantly. Especially for me, you know, I follow a lot of uh, other photographers, filmmakers, directors in LA. And, you know, when you look at people's Instagram stories, everyone looks really busy. Everyone's constantly doing stuff. And the reality of it is that's a very small percentage of people that are constantly working every single day. For the most part, it's, you know, very hit or miss. It's, you know, very sporadic. And I think the more that you can remember that, just to start things off, you're going to be a lot less stressed out and worried that you aren't getting the same kind of work. So as mentioned, I haven't really had a lot of work the last several months. I've been doing, you know, these regular YouTube uploads. I've had a few photography projects here and there, nothing super large. Uh, I do have a few projects coming up in January that I'm super excited about, but for the next month or so, it's gonna be pretty slow. So I've kind of been planning in my mind what I wanna be doing, what I wanna focus on for this next month. And it's kind of boiled down to a few key topics that I wanna to explain today. So the first thing that I'm gonna be focusing on, which is something that I harp on a lot on this channel, is personal work and personal shoots. I have quite a few different trips planned over the next month or so, mainly road trip centered trips, uh, but I'm going to be shooting photos actually for a new book that I'm working on over the next probably, I would say year or two. It's not really something that's gonna be coming out anytime soon. Uh, I also have a few different kinds of shoots planned for my website. I'm gonna be updating like the lifestyle section of my website and adding some more brand work in there that I'm gonna be putting together myself. And I think also that stuff is a great thing to do when work is kind of slow, you got tons of time and really just kind of focus in on like what you wanna be working on on your own time. You know, like it doesn't have to be on someone else's time anymore. You got time to work, time to think, time to plan out stuff. And for me, that's a pretty big part of what I'm gonna be focusing on this next month. I think something that's also important to remember is to take a break and relax. <laughs> Uh, for me, I've been doing a lot better job of this, I think, as of late, uh, spending a lot more time with friends, really looking forward to spending time with family over Christmas. Um, you don't always have to be working. You don't always have to be doing something. You know, it comes down to like, if you actually have something to do, great. If you have something that you're excited and actively working on, great. But I think it's also okay to take a break. You know, that's, that's the benefit to working for yourself is you have the time to relax and take a breather. And I think after the last couple of years, I think we're all pretty exhausted, myself included. So it's important to just remember that, you know, you got time to relax and take a break if you want it. For me, road trips are easily the easiest way for me to kind of get inspired and start, you know, thinking about what I want to be doing. So I'm going to be doing a lot of those, as mentioned, hoping to go shoot in the desert in December and obviously going to be bringing you guys along for those trips. But this is kind of, you know, me at my best when I'm on the road doing new things, traveling, and I haven't really been traveling a lot lately. So I'm really excited to get out and see some new stuff. And for me, I think this time of year is always just a really reflective period for me as an artist and, you know, as someone who makes things for a living. Um, I love using this time of year to kind of look back and see what I've been working on, uh, how I how I like all that stuff, you know, is it aligned with what I want to be doing? And honestly, doing a little bit of soul searching this time of year is, is always a, a great thing to kind of focus on because I think it allows me to pinpoint exactly what I want to be focusing on for the upcoming year 2022. I do anticipate that year to be fairly busy and hopefully filled with a little bit more travel than the last couple of years. But, you know, that's something that we have to wait and see what happens. You know, I think next year is, is wide open, but I really want to make sure that I have my priorities straight and kind of my just thoughts and ideas written down somewhere and, you know, kind of just figuring out what I want to focus on is is something that I always try to do this time of year. Another thing that I really love focusing on when I have some free time is just kind of gaining uh, some knowledge or inspiration. And I've recently picked up quite a few new photo books that I absolutely have been loving. Uh, I've really been trying to detach from just looking at a screen for inspiration, although I do love looking at other people's websites. And I've been trying to stay off Instagram a lot lately. I just don't really feel like it's been inspiring me a lot. So, you know, if you guys feel a similar way, maybe consider spending less time on there. Uh, but I do have a few books that I thought I would share with you guys today that have really been inspiring me. So the first book is from Christopher Anderson. If you guys have seen 
his previous book. Um, I did, I think, a video on that a long time ago, uh, which is called Pia. This is the second installment called Sun, and it's all about his son. Uh, Christopher Anderson's one of my favorite photographers, and I think he's represented by Magnum. And I bought this through Stanley Barker, which is a pretty well-known uh, book publication website, and this book's beautiful. I just love the wide array of colors and interesting compositions. I think it tells a really cool story of his personal life, which is something that I always try to document on a regular basis. Um, but it gives me a lot of ideas for how I could potentially you know, document uh, different areas of my life and what that looks like for me. Uh, but I think for him, he just, his work is just so well defined. I think it, it fits exactly, you know, when you think of his work, this is stuff just, you know, fits perfectly into that, obviously. Um, but I have to assume that he's been doing this for a very long time. And that's something that I really look forward to is to, you know, look back at some point and be able to archive old photos and make books. Uh, really excited about that whole entire process at some point. Um, but I think this book is beautiful. I don't really know if it's for sale anymore. You might be able to grab it on eBay or something. Um, but I just love the candid images of his kids and his wife um, also mixed in with these just beautiful landscapes. I have to assume it's somewhere in Europe. I think he lives in Paris. Uh, but yeah, just gorgeous images. I really feel like I'm there with him in a lot of these. Uh, they feel very uh, like he's a part of the image, especially when there's people in it. Um, I, that's something I've been thinking about a lot about recently is how to kind of incorporate yourself into images, especially of people. And you can just tell how comfortable his family feels around him. I think this book's just, just beautiful, really well done. Uh, again, Christopher Anderson, and this is a new book called Sun. I highly recommend it. So the next book is from Jamie Hawksworth. It's called The British Isles. Uh, I actually recently just came across Jamie's work. I was actually at a bookstore with my friend Willem, and he kind of showed me this book. It was there. He's like, you should definitely grab a copy of this. And I grabbed it. Honestly, not a book that I would typically purchase, uh, just based on the kind of photography. Um, but I honestly have really gained a lot of inspiration from it. The portraits in here are amazing. And I think overall, just the collection of work in here is is pretty incredible. Obviously, I have to assume this was taken over a very long period of time. It's basically him just documenting, uh, I believe, probably where he lived or grew up. Uh, this section right here, you got like the rainbow and then also like uh, just this green jacket right here. Like, I love the way that he paired a lot of these photos in here. I think it just looks really nice. It's really impressive. Um, again, not necessarily a book that I would typically pick up, but I've really enjoyed looking through it. And again, I love just the casualness of a lot of these photos, but it, it feels so like well put together at the same time. I think that's just, you know, the sign of a great photographer. Um, and towards the end of this book, there's a lot of really amazing landscape images as well, which is, uh, kind of more my forte uh, but yeah overall just beautiful collection of work between this book and the new Christopher Anderson book I have really been enjoying looking through these I try to look through them on a fairly regular basis and I feel like it's helped me kind of just have some new ideas uh, which is always always really helpful when it comes to actually shooting this time of year the few projects that I have been working on I shot my friend Brock for this brand called Vince which honestly the photos turned out amazing I'll put some of those photos up on the screen right now for you guys to check out that was a really fun project to work on. It's fun working with just other creative, talented people. And we uh, shot him alongside this Mercedes and Malibu. And I feel like the photos honestly turned out really nice. I was, I was pretty happy with those. I've also just been shooting a lot on my point and shoot, my Contax T3, which as you guys probably saw a couple videos ago, we did a video on that camera. And it's been really fun to shoot along with that. I kind of just brought it around to a lot of different like parties and dinners and stuff like that. And it's been fun to just kind of mess around with that. But when it comes to just documenting daily life, I think, again, this is a great time of year to just kind of focus on that as well. Overall, I think what I'm trying to say is it's okay to not be busy. It's okay to not have stuff to work on. And coming from me, like, you know, take it from me. It happens almost on an annual basis. There's usually a pretty large chunk of time during the year where I don't have a lot of work going on. And it allows me to just kind of really kind of refocus and figure out what I want to be doing. Uh, and honestly, this time of year in general, I think with the holiday season upcoming, it's just a great time of year to reflect and figure out your direction for the upcoming year while also focusing on some personal projects and stuff that you want to kind of get out before the end of the year. For me, I'm really excited for the next month or so. I think it's going to be filled with fun, creative endeavors, shoots, road trips. Uh, I'm going to be redoing my website and adding just a bunch of new work to that as well. If you guys want to check that out, I will leave a link down in the description. We're gonna be kind of periodically updating that with new work throughout the next month or so. 
But overall, thank you so much for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know if you guys have any tips or things that you like to focus on when, when work is slow. But yeah, all in all, hope you guys have a good holiday season. Take care. Happy Thanksgiving. And we'll see you guys next week. Before this video wraps up, I did want to take a moment to thank today's sponsor, which is Squarespace for sponsoring today's episode. If you are looking to create a custom website from scratch without all the coding and hassles that come with it, Squarespace is by far the best choice out there, in my opinion, to make a beautiful website. They have easy to use templates, which make creating a beautiful theme that much easier. 24 seven customer support for all of your questions and tons of customizable design and layout choices to really make your website stand out. For a photographer like myself, running a small business with multiple different kinds of needs, Squarespace really just makes sense. If you're interested in trying out Squarespace for yourself, go to squarespace.com slash Samuel Elkins, which is in the description to get 10% off your first website or domain purchase. As always, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one and we'll see you next week.